this year in Major League Soccer. The one miss was to the goalkeeper's right. Steve Rafter has conceded all six penalties faced this season. This sets the tone. Tati Castellanos drills it. Statement set here from the Golden Boot winner of 2021. With pace, with power. Good start for New York City in front of Timbers Army. First up for Portland will be the player who led the rescue act. Chile's Felipe Mora. With more than one deep breath. And Johnson comes up immediately with a save that even at this early stage hands a significant advantage to his NYCFC. But with the new laws with the goalkeeper standing on the line, Sean Johnson's range and height works in his favor. Look at the left foot behind the line. Not a great penalty from Mora, but a strong save from Sean Johnson. Fredo Morales led the penalty shootout at New England a couple of weeks ago, scored, set NYCFC off on the right foot. And he repeat the feat. Fredo Morales. And this time, it's Steve Clark's moment to take their claim. See, the hardest thing is when you've already had a penalty kick shootout, do you change the direction you're going? Alfredo Morales against Matt Turner of New England went to his right, but that stutter step, not a great penalty, not as convicted as he was in New England. Good save from Steve Clark. Now, big one. Diego Valeri, how many times has he been through this Rick Marone? And he too is denied by Johnson, who has now saved the first two kicks just as he did against Pumas in the League's Cup quarterfinal shootout earlier this season. Sean Johnson has waited 321 games for his first MLS Cup appearance. And he is ready for the big stage with two huge saves already in this shootout. Band of brothers in the center circle. Maxi Morales. The smallest player in Major League Soccer. Stands tall in front of the Timbers Army. And it's very much advantage NYCFC now. Remember, his last miss was in 2020 versus San Carlos. And that was to the goalkeeper's right. Good penalty from Maxi Morales. Portland have won three of their four shootouts since joining MLS. Most recent was a defeat. Their only defeat here against Dallas in the first round of the playoffs last season. And it's to the youthful Santiago Moreno that they now turn. Moreno! With rather more confidence and accomplishment than those who've preceded him. How about those nerves? 21 years old, acting as if he's been here before. Open the hips. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. What a critical, critical penalty from Santiago Moreno. It gets younger still. 19-year-old Tyler Magno, NYCFC's most expensive player. One for the future. But this is about the here and the now. And Clark, with a slight hesitation on the line, actually dived over the ball. Well, the youngest ever to play for Vasco da Gama, a fantastic pedigree of a club. And it's just that little hesitation. Stall Steve Clark. What a big penalty from the 19-year-old of Brazil. Now, so often there has to be a full guy. Will it be Christian Paredes? He has to score this. He has to score. Otherwise, MLS Cup goes to NYCFC. Christian Paredes keeps the Timbers alive. There have 
big questions about Paredes' fitness in his calf. He didn't start for Shibe. Got the start. He comes into this one. Winding it out on a half of a leg. Good penalty. Now remember, Collins stepped up in New England and went right down the middle on Matt Turner. Does he do it again? Portland at the point of no return. If Callan scores, NYCFC win. Alexander Callan's and a breakthrough moment for the boys from the Bronx. Writing their own history. Six days on from their first ever piece of silverware. Now a first ever major trophy. Delight on the pitch at the viewing party in New York, ticketing. They may share their ownership with a collection of clubs in the same stable. They share their colours too, but this moment is not for sharing.